when it came time to establish the board, well, there had to be representation from Carbide. There had to be representation from the naturalists. Charlie and Winnie would represent themselves. And I was asked if I would act as the chairman. We didn't meet in a hotel in Red Deer. We didn't meet in the Carbide boardroom. We met at Charlie and Winnie's dining room table. There was always a healthy degree of skepticism and suspicion on everybody's part. We were in uncharted water. Nobody knew where this thing was going. The naturalists were not entirely sure that big industry could be accommodated here, especially in this particular area. Carbide would be responsible for the summer nest box program and the winter bird feeding operation. And Carbide realized in dealing with Charlie that if those were his conditions, they either met them or there was no deal. There was a genuine interest in the corporation of Carbide in carrying this forward. There was deep investment by the naturalists. I mean, they were totally committed. And Charlie and Winnie had been committed long before any of this had started. So it was always interesting, uh, the input from, from Winnie and Charlie. If she sensed that, well, that was just a waste of time and resources, or that was unnecessary, she would chirp up and, and put her two bits in. Charlie would sit there and never say anything. You got two comments out of Charlie. He said, it's okay. And he'd nod and leave that. Or he'd, if he disagreed, he'd say, it's not the way I'd do it. <laughs> Winnie delighted in it, but not from the standpoint of the Ellis name or the number of visitors or her prominence in the thing. That had nothing to do with it. She just felt it was right. It was right for the birds, it was right for the, for the land that they had lived on all their lives. As a naturalist and as a, especially as a botanist, I love it out here because of course you've got these, you've taken this wonderful natural setting. It's been enhanced by trails and gardens and plantings. It's historical, it's beautiful, and it's natural. And so Carbide deserves a lot of credit for this. I, I, I think if you were to tally up the, even the dollars that Carbide has put in directly into Bird Farm, it would be an astonishing total. Not only that, but they invested in their, their people and, uh, and, and the community as well. The earliest bird migration research was done at the University of Alberta by Dr. Rowan. He did groundbreaking research on bird migration. 60 years later or so, groundbreaking research was done on the migration of individual birds to chart their course and to me, that's a real contribution to science, and that goes, that goes way beyond what we ever imagined sitting around Winnie and Charlie's dining room table 35 years ago.